Hello. Watch me get this shit on me. Hustle, you gon' watch me blow. You gon' help me blow. You know what I'm saying? Look, bitch, we grinding right now. What's up, it's Nerdcast, back with another video. Here already know what time it is. Please like this video for the YouTube algorithm. I really would, I really would appreciate it. Let's get into the story. Let's go. All right, so Meek Mill been tweaked, been Twitter happy lately. You feel me? Not literally happy, but Twitter happy with his fingers. And he's been going back and forth, basically speaking to pretty much the future lawyers out there. Not future, but the lawyers that's out there. To pretty much help him out with his situation. Now, not a case this time around. Well, kind of, basically, it is a case. But at the same time, a lot of artists talk about this. You know, a lot of artists go to Twitter, they go to social media. I haven't been paid for this, this, and that. P and B Rock was the last artist we seen do this. Basically, say like, man, I got this many hits and this song on it. Whatever the case, I haven't been paid for this, this, and that. <sighs> Did your last album flop? Did you go under? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people don't know how the music system works. Uh, but you got to recoup, you know. Uh, Meek Mill got label budgets. You got you know, Meek Mill's not stupid, man. He know what he got. He know what, what the deal is. I don't know his deal, though. <clears throat> Pause. I don't know his deal. I don't know what his deal say. You feel me? I didn't read his fine print. All right, it's getting a little out of hand, bro. Y'all, I get what I'm saying, right? Like, I didn't read his paperwork. I don't know what's going on with his situation. You know what I'm saying? But he's been on Twitter pretty much tripping out. Now he's asking for lawyers to help him out with his situation. Um, and, you know, a lot of these artists, they don't understand what deals they sign and this, this, and that. Um, it's kind of crazy because now he then signed. A lot of people are probably confused. Because I don't know why rappers do this. Why do you tweet out stuff when people are like, what the freak, didn't you just sign with Jay-Z? That's what people think. No, he didn't actually sign with Jay-Z. He, part, he did a partnership deal. You feel me? So more than likely, Jay-Z, connections and lawyers and stuff like that is going to read the paperwork with the basically the 360 deal. And he could be talking about Rick Ross down there. You feel me? He down there could be talking about Rick Ross. Because we know the situation with him, and we know they, you feel me? I don't know if he's finished with them, and he signed with somebody else after Rick Ross, but you know he was with Double MG, you feel me? We know that for Shelsky, that we know that. That ain't something you could hide from, right? We know they haven't been seeing eye to eye. We know all of that vibes, right? So I'm pretty sure pretty much Jay-Z, lawyers, his team is going to pretty much look at, look at, Meek Mill's situation and see why he's not getting paid and this, this, and that. They're pretty much going to come down to a conclusion because Jay-Z obviously have the best lawyers that music and shit could pay for. They're going to look over it, make sure Meek Mill is good, see what's the best steps for him to take. Okay, let's drop two more albums, Meek, then you're out of your deal. Then The independent wave is going crazy right now. A lot of big artists are going independent. I mean, Soulja Boy not that big of an artist, but he's independent now. Young know, Dolph was always independent. Uh, it's going to be more artists to go independent. Migos and them, they was crying about day deals and this, this, and that, how much money they was getting paid a couple months back. p b Rock was crying about it. Lil Uzi had a, had a little vibe about it. So I'm pretty sure once these artists is pretty much done, they're going to either have some good, exquisite deals because they're going to make sure their lawyers and this, this, and that is going to say, look, what do you want? All right, I want freedom, freedom. I want ownership. I want this. I want to be able to control this. And a lot of better deals are going to come out from here on out. Uh, yeah, so this is how a lot of actually new good artists come in. And they get better deals than these older artists because of mistakes that Meek made and mistakes that Uzi made and mistakes that people made before them in TLC and why they deals and stuff was bad and they wasn't getting paid. But... If you didn't know, then now you know. But Meek said, I'm a, I'm a whore for everything that's mine. It's all ruthless vibes. Like I said, I, yeah, I, just, I just told y'all exactly what's going to happen. It's going to speak with Jay-Z's lawyers, his team, because they're in a partnership. So by them being in a partnership, they got to protect both of their brands. You see what I'm saying? So 
it's just pretty much going to die down. Boom. Big Mill going to get off of their label, get off of the little whatever deal he own. And uh, obviously, he's going to be straight. Come on now. It's Meek Mill, Jay-Z. You know, come on now. What else? Do I need to say anything else? All right. Yeah. That feels good because I was listening to Meek from Mr. Philadelphia to Dream Ooh. Chasers 1 to Dream Chasers 2. <laughs> 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 